Joe Rogan is a comedian, UFC commentator, and host of one of the most popular podcasts on the planet. Being one of the most famous broadcasters to ever live, with thousands of hours of podcasts, it's no surprise that Joe has drummed up his fair share of controversy. From spreading faulty information to joints that plummet stock prices, these are the most controversial moments from the Joe Rogan experience. First on our list is Rogan's interview with Edward Snowden. Snowden is a former computer intelligence consultant who, in 2013, leaked classified information to the public while working for the NSA. Snowden exposed what could be considered war crimes, such as the killing of civilians by U.S. military personnel during the Iraq War, which began in 2003. In the fallout from this leak, the NSA came under scrutiny. Snowden was branded a traitor and charged with felonies. He eventually fled to Russia, where he lives today. Most of us would stay away from a guy like that. But not Joe. He interviewed him on his podcast in 2019, discussing Ed's life and the leaks that he's so famous for. Pretty ballsy if you ask me, considering many high-ranking U.S. officials still want to charge Snowden with treason. Clearly, Joe has never been shy of going against the grain. And this can't be more obvious than the time he sat down with Candace Owens. Candace is a polarizing figure, to say the least. The political talk show host and author holds views that many on the left think are extreme. Joe was risking some serious backlash by having her on his podcast. The pair discussed a wide range of topics, from race to religion, politics and culture. But a segment of their conversation in particular ruffled a few feathers. It all started when Candace expressed her views on climate change. Let's just say she's a little skeptical. But Joe gave some pushback, as a good interviewer does. Some fans thought it got a little heated, and people on either side of the debate rallied together. But it ended up being an interesting discussion that allowed fans to decide for themselves. Deciding for yourself seems to be a core opinion of Rogan's, and he's come under fire for it many times. Man, who knew podcasting could be so stressful? Did you know that back in 2021, while interviewing radio personality Dave Smith, Rogan kicked up a storm when he suggested that young, healthy people shouldn't get vaccinated? Now this one went crazy. The moment went viral, getting picked up by mainstream news outlets like CNN and MSNBC. The head of the National Institute for Allergy and Infectious Disease got involved, condemning Rogan's claims as incorrect. It even reached the United States White House, which released a statement criticizing Rogan. Waking up to find the White House is talking about you, and not in a good way, major bummer is an understatement. It's not just his opinions that get Joe in trouble. No, sir. It's also his choice of friends. Alex Jones is an extremely controversial figure, a journalist and radio personality, a right-wing conspiracy theorist with some wacky ideas, and it just so happens, an old friend of Joe Rogan's. Alex has been featured on the show many times since its inception in 2009, but in 2018, he was banned by Apple, Facebook, and YouTube. Unable to broadcast on the most popular social media channels in the world, you can imagine that kind of cramped his style. So a lot of people were surprised when Alex appeared on an episode of JRE in 2020. Rogan had only recently signed a deal with Spotify worth megabucks. Let me give you a clue. Millions. And the deal came under scrutiny. Because of the episode. Employees at the streaming giant were demanding that the episode be removed. Rogan stood his ground and weathered the storm. The episode stayed up, and Spotify gave Joe the autonomy to invite whoever he likes on his podcast. All's well that ends well, huh? But Joe can't win every battle he fights, because even the best of us sometimes get it wrong. And that was exactly the case in this episode of The Joe Rogan Experience, while interviewing Douglas Murray, a British author. Rogan used people fighting wildfires in Portland, Oregon as an example of activists taking it too far. The only problem with that is that it wasn't true. The moment went viral. Having been debunked by the FBI and other major news outlets, Joe came under fire for spreading dangerous misinformation. Not one to be arrogant, Rogan quickly tweeted an apology and made the episode private. That too blew over. Phew! But one of the most infamous and unique Joe Rogan experience moments came in 2019 when Joe interviewed the then-CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey. 
For once, Joe wasn't facing backlash from detractors, media outlets, or even the White House, but his actual fans. That was a first. Fans were disappointed because they felt Rogan went easy on Dorsey, not questioning Dorsey about the accusations of censorship and banning that had been leveled at the tech giant was bad form for Rogan. Any journalist worth their salt would have certainly called Dorsey out on those issues. In short, the fans weren't satisfied with his grilling of the CEO. Rogan must have got wind of this wave of discontent coming from his fans because a few episodes later, he offered up an apology to them. Even better, he went on to have Jack Dorsey and the Twitter policy director back on the show to address the topics that fans felt he missed in their first conversation. A man of the people, eh Joe? Sometimes you can't even blame Rogan for a controversial moment. In the course of his three-hour sit-down with Kanye West, he barely got a word in. But the prolific music producer drummed up plenty of chatter, discussing his presidential aspirations and campaign, his religious and political beliefs, and even taking a moment of silence to pray while the confused Joe looked on. Don't worry, he explained straight after. The episode wasn't short of clips that went viral across the internet, but again, Kanye is known to make an impact whatever show he's on. Now, in this next moment, billions of dollars were at stake, and a lot of shareholders were pissed. All from an interview between Rogan and Elon Musk. When Joe sat down with Musk for the first time in 2018, they covered a pretty diverse range of topics. Engineering problems, aliens, Elon's company Neuralink. It was all going well till, in the second half of the podcast, Joe offered Musk a joint filled with marijuana. Joe assured him it was legal since he seemed a little nervous at first. Musk, curious, took a few puffs. He seemed unimpressed. The conversation moved on. Little did he know he'd been in for a world of headaches when the episode aired. When it did, Tesla stock plummeted 9%. High-level executives left the company. Other executives called into question Musk's ability to run the company. Because Elon's company SpaceX has contracts with the military, the U.S. Air Force launched an investigation into the incident. And later on, Elon claimed that he and his employees at SpaceX were subjected to random drug tests because of this incident. It seems like you can't even chill out with a friend when you're the world's richest man. It's pretty clear. Joe Rogan is a veteran of dealing with controversy, sometimes through his own words, sometimes through those of his guests. But it seems to be paying off since he's the most successful podcaster on earth with more than 11 million monthly listeners. So from nutty friends to corporate catastrophes, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those were some of the most controversial JRE moments.